everybody, it's Mr. Yankee G, and today we have a city review. It's number 4643, ages 5 to 12. It's the Powerboat Transporter, and has 254 pieces. It's a pretty awesome set. I mostly like it because of the boat. Um, and the two minifigures you get, except for they have identical, um, identical torsos, which kind of sucks, but it's just kind of like a little, um, track the trailer. Now we are in a different spot today because we're upstairs in my house, not in my basement where I do all my filming. And that's because I want to show you the, um, how the boat actually floats in my bathroom in the end. So, yes, let's first do the review. We'll start off with the figures. This guy, he's pretty nice. The back printing, he has the red helmet with the visor does go up and down pretty nicely. I like these. I have a couple. He has a normal city face, 5 o'clock shadow. That just pops off. Get a life jacket. Um, and then the, he has an oil torso, and I just absolutely hate these torsos. I do not like them. I mean, he looks like he works in a factory. Which he doesn't. He's looks like he should be having fun out on a sunny day at the beach, or just riding his boat around, and that's how it should be. Not some dudes at a try to get that hat. Like not do these guys just like not having fun. But I do want to mention, if I can just put this down for a second. That one. Sorry about this. I don't have my tripod right now. I'm using my phone. Um, it's actually better quality, surprisingly, so I might use this more often. When you have the life jacket on, his head doesn't fit in right, and I just hate that. So it looks like his neck isn't all the way there. So, either they should have made the actual, like, little stud that connects you to the body yellow, so it wouldn't look like it was sticking out, or they should have made a better design. But that's okay. It's not a too big of a problem. Next, you get... The same figure, except I put the hat on him, though both figures do get hats and helmets, and he just has a different face. Same torso, so I'm not going to show you it to him. He's just smiling. I like that face. I have a couple of them. But now on to the set. It's a very nice set. Um, costs about $30, I believe. $35. I'm not sure. I got it from Toys R Us, so it's a little... I got it for mine from $35, so you might get it cheaper some places, maybe 30 But you can see you get some stickers, and you might be seeing some stuff on it. That's because I just had it in the bathroom to see if it actually floats right. It does. Oh, uh, you can see you got a huge motor back there. Motor. It's number 8, so it's like a racing truck almost. Or not a racing truck, a racing boat. Which is why I don't, under, that's why, again, I don't like how their torsos, because at Racer, they don't always have, like, oil torsos. I mean, everything in Lego is always oil. So it's kind of annoying. Um, I kind of wish they would have something different, but, uh, yep. Uh, yeah, let's get back onto the boat. You can see it's very smooth and sleek. It's like one of those power boats that they can go, like, 2 million miles per hour. It's got some more, like, uh, checkerboard stuff. It's nice. It's not too big. It's probably only, like, 60 pieces. And you might be, like, only 60 pieces. It looks like a complete boat. It is a complete boat, but this whole piece right here is all one. Which is why it can float. So, yep. Let's get on to the rest of the set. The trailer. It's nice. It's very smooth on the edge. It kind of detached with right there. Uh-oh, just lost something. Try to get that back on. One second. Sorry about the hog. Oh, crap. Broke. Um. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. One of the lights fell off, which is what I was getting on to. Um. Yep. So you can see the lights. They just kind of move. It's the show. They can move in. It's like saying, "Oh, this." Oh my God. Yeah, they break like a lot. It's like saying, "Oh, this boat." Is here or something or whatever, I'm not sure. Completely. But, uh, I do know that's what they are for. Okay. Uh, sorry, again. 
This is absolute. See, this is what I mean. I mean, in all my reviews, something's gotta go wrong. Either a light's gotta break, or... The Grand Emporium, the chandelier broke. But, we're not doing the Grand Emporium. You can see you got a sticker there, and it says, Oil and Hydraulix. On the bottom, you can see you got four wheels there. And then this, you can go up like this, so it can stand, without having to have a, like, a compartment holding on, like, an actual, like, truck to hold up, hold it up. Here you can see you get a license plate, some, uh, lights, it's pretty nice, simple. Next you get this, uh, the truck, the actual truck. Now, in my opinion, the only reason I got this was because of the boat, but... You have six wheels, license plate, um, windshield, very nice window. It's the same window as the garbage truck. I can't show you the garbage truck, like I said. I'm not in my studio right now, but same license plate. But it's very squarish, makes it look big, lights. It's nice yellow, I like it, even though there's just a lot of yellow. And you might think, uh, never mind, you can just kind of, oops, see, I'm breaking everything. Breaking everything. Um, inside all you get is a seat, a cup of coffee, and a steering wheel. Now, you can see this is what it would look like if you were a minifig compared to it. But now that I've pretty much wrapped it all up, I think I'll show you the box first, and then we can get on to the actual, um, then we can go on and show you, I'll show you how it looks. So let's just move all this out of the way, and I'll get onto the box. With the age and number and stuff, it says modular build, easy start as most LEGO city sets are, it says boat really floats. It's 24 centimeters, which is 9.4 inches. In American, and you can see down there, you have some of the other, oops, sorry, some of the other harbor sets. Like I said, I am using my phone, so there's no tripod. Um, those little ones. I want to get the fishing boat and the harbor, and then you can see dividing the sub models for easy start. And he's drinking coffee full size, they're racing, getting left behind. So now that I've showed you the box, I think now that I want to actually um, show you um, the actual thing floating, so I'm going to stick the actual minifigures in there, because they're going to go for a ride. So, we have our boat, and you can just, you can make it float in anything, even probably like a swimming pool, but you can just stick it in there, and it's not like it's actually sitting in the, and it's actually floating, like it might look like it's there, but because I didn't want to waste too much water, but it is floating, it's pretty good, um, it probably could go pretty fast, I bet, if it's real, but, yeah, it's pretty nice, um, I would recommend this, but not for the truck, for the actual boat. If you like boats, and if you collect boats, you just gotta get this. I mean, it's very, it's very sleek and smooth, so. Yeah, overall, I would recommend this to people. And it's not too expensive for, like, a birthday present. So, yeah. This is Mr. Yankee G, signing off. You can see, I'm using my phone. Bye.